Hey, what's up, guys? It's our first day on our trip to Pennsylvania. Yep. We're going to Pennsylvania because of a business trip, more or less. Yeah, and we turned it into like a bigger business trip. Yes, we're taking advantage of the opportunity to go up here and do different things. So, I'm going to Cresco, Pennsylvania, which is northeast Pennsylvania, to more or less take a tour of the Wheeler. We from Oklahoma, we say Wheeler the wire wheels that we use out of, out on the pipeline or that anybody uses. But anyway, the, the, the wheeler, it's actually called, pronounced Weiler. Weiler. That's how they pronounce it, it's Weiler. It's not how they pronounce it, it's, it's how it's pronounced. Okay, that's how it's pronounced, it's Weiler, <laughs> but we say Wheeler. So anyway, we were headed up there to take a tour and uh, maybe do some filming with them and stuff, so I'm super excited about it. So that's what we're headed to do. And like I said, it's our first day, good weather so far. We uh, fixed to try to get some footage of this Keystone Dam here in Oklahoma because yeah. we've had a bunch of flooding here lately. Uh, some of you might already know, but we're gonna, we, we hardly ever go this way because of where we live. We hardly ever take this road, but we wanna look at the lake and see what it looks like with all this water and rain we've been getting. So anyway, off to a good start. Kayla's already, Almost got a driving award. She got a warning. A mile. A mile. A mile from the from house. my mom's. Yeah, from her mom's, which is a couple we, miles from our house. We stopped by and saw our nephew. Yeah, had to because see Because we didn't have him this week, and so we had to go get some baby time. That's right. Before I left town. I scheduled it in. Get up earlier, whatever you gotta do. That's to right. go see the baby. That's right. So our plan for today is to drive to St. Louis area. Yeah. St. Louis area, which is about Troy, seven. Troy, Illinois. Which is about seven hours from our house. So we're leaving right at 10 o'clock. We're right on time. That's freaking unreal for us to be right on time like this. We've only had like a week or so, 10 days. Uh, no. Week. A week. We talked to him last Thursday. Oh, okay. So we've only had a week to like get our heads wrapped around of coming up here. So it feels just like leaving for a pipeline trip. You know, we ran around yesterday like crazy trying to get everything packed and everything ready. We had a regular work week. Yeah. Plus trying to navigate this. So. Yeah. We don't have the dogs. We don't hardly ever board the dogs, but we left the dogs with uh, Kayla's great aunt and uncle. It's yeah, that's different. Been hard. It, yeah, it's Kayla's struggled with trying to find a place to uh, take them because it's hard, you know. I mean, we're with them every day, especially hard for Kayla. She's with them way more than I am. And so, Ann Gingham don't get along with other dogs, so that always throws a loop in things. But anyway, that's what we decided to do. So, we don't have them. That's That'll be nice for our trip, though. You know, we ain't got to worry about dog friendly hotels, uh, doing different things. It's just. But just for some perspective, have I ever spent a night away from Gingham? Have you? Not that I know of. But maybe. Maybe in Pennsylvania, whenever we uh, we used Rover, we'll see. Oh, that was it. One lane. night. One night. No, that was both of them. Okay, that was it. One time. And then Paisley, since we started traveling, I could count it on maybe one hand. And these are like one night deals. So I literally am with those dogs 24 7 on this. 365 days a year so I know it's not a big deal to some people but it's a huge deal for me and while I tell myself that they need me it's more so that I need them yeah or that that's what I'm kind of like emotional and have anxiety over so we would like to find a situation that is comfortable for all parties so that we can take opportunities like this and it not be so stressful and I think this is kind of like showed me that I need to do that like I need to figure out what that looks like yeah absolutely but I don't know it yet so it is you know yeah it's a tough battle it's a tough battle with not wanting to leave your dogs but uh, making it easier for travel and things like that so yeah hopefully we can warm up to this idea more yeah I just gotta find I would like to find like a house sitter yeah. Or like two people that you know would be interested and then whoever is available because there's other stuff around the house that like needs to be checked on anyways So 
I would really love it if we could find something like that. We just gotta try to ask people uh, to see if we can find anybody. So yep. there's the college is only 30 minutes away in Stillwater, so usually whenever school's in session, you should be able to find somebody that would be into house sitting. But it's summer and we didn't start early enough with that idea to be able to find somebody. No. Anyways, y'all don't care. I'm just talking because so. I can't quit thinking about it, okay? <laughs> I'll shut up. Oh, anyway, we're really excited. Yeah. And uh, this is day one of 10 days. Yeah. 10 days we're going to be gone because right after we're going to my family reunion back here in Oklahoma about a couple hours away from the house but it's practically on the way back home so yeah this is day one here day we go one, and we're gonna take you along because why not we normally don't do that st stuff that's that interesting so we figure this is way more interesting than like everyday life at the house so we'll give you these vlogs for a while <laughs> instead of um, only putting this into one video or two and, and then going back to regular vlogs so yeah. If you guys are ever curious, if you care that much, or if you're confused because stuff is going up at different times on different channels, in the description of every video, it usually says minimum the month that it was filmed, if not the day. So that's for like our memories, but also for anybody who's like curious, because if you're like me, you like a timeline, so that's down there. absolutely wild usually you can go down like right on the other side of these rocks there's some stairs over there and you can go down there and fish and it's oh my gosh this is crazy this is the Keystone Dam yeah right here usually you can walk right down here you lose the handrail in the water there. That is absolutely nuts.
crazy to see it in person. Like you see it on the news, but it's crazy to see it and hear it in person. I think the hearing it is yeah. very wild. Mind blowing. Good old St. Louis. We've seen Saint that. Louis. <laughs> We've seen this road several times. We've seen, we seen that arch several times. Lots. I wonder why this place couldn't have been like out west somewhere. Why'd it have to be in Pennsylvania? I don't know. Weiler? Weiler. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> this is kind of a, is this the same exact road we've taken right here? Yes. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure. It seemed like we took a different exit or something. Just my memory. Just my memory. That's all. Anyway, we are, uh... If you get lost, don't ask Austin for directions. Don't. I, I'll get you lost. I, I will not get you to your destination, that's for sure. Yeah, we are in St. Louis. Fixing to get to our hotel. And, uh, the trips went good. Yeah. Just, uh, I mean, a little seven-hour drive. Kind of feels short compared to, That you also kind of feels long. My butt hurts. What we're used to. We're gonna have dinner with some friends tonight. Actually, I've never, I've never met them. Kayla's friends, uh, they're working up here in uh, yeah. outside of St. Louis somewhere. I don't know where they're working. Around here somewhere. And we're gonna have dinner with them tonight, so that's fun. It's one of the reasons that we're stopping here. I'm excited to meet them. That's how it's going. What now? Do you guys want a room tour? Hotel room tour. Yeah, we can show you guys our hotel room. We're and chilling at the Holiday Inn. At the Holiday Inn. A lot of that luggage. Was last summer. Yeah. And they'd be running around, going around your feet, tying yeah. you up, tripping you, and everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Wow, that's a nice place you got for us, babe. Um. Ta da! -da. You know why you check in first? Why? So you can turn on the AC. Oh yeah, check in before you go before out. You go to yeah, that way you can get it See cool. It Kayla likes it to be the absolute coldest, which is 60. It's as low as it's as low as it's getting is 60. Do you think it'll get there? I don't know, but this, this is, is a oh yeah yes, way nicer Thank than God. any La Quinta we've stayed at, ain't it? I'd say. I really like it. 
Oh, have mercy, I don't know. Have a little desk area. Not that we'll have time to do any editing, but we might. This is one of those nice bags TV. that these tables aren't useful for. Dang, I love it. I love me a nice hotel room. <laughs> she said, she said, I like them, but I'm too tight to buy them. That's the truth. All right, got checked in. Now we're headed to get some dinner. And what I realized shortly after checking in is there's a Cracker Barrel right here, right next to the hotel. Kayla said, she said, are you going to eat the free breakfast or are you going to go to Cracker Barrel? I said, I think I'm going to have to go to Cracker Barrel. Tempting. Very, very tempting. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with us today. Come back for the next one for the rest of this trip or the next part of this trip. We are headed to Columbus next. Pumped. We love you. Be grateful. Work hard. And have fun. See y'all in our next video.